All right, guys, so uh, here we started doing some maintenance on the mowers. Uh, there's my garage. It's uh, looking a little better than it did last time I made a video. So uh, Hunter's down there taking a little bracket off the uh, off the walker that we that's on there. It just makes for the uh, oil change a little bit easier. So in here, uh, you know, we've always had a heck of a time changing the oil on the walker, just because. There's usually a bracket right there, as I'm pointing to, and the oil will just funnel down that bracket. And so, you know, we came up with this little solution with the uh, the cardboard, and it actually worked really well today, as you can see right here. So instead of dripping down on everything, it just kind of funneled right into the uh, oil pan. Ended up turning out to be a pretty good little little deal there. So here I'm putting the uh, new oil filter on. And you want to take a little bit of oil, rub it around the the seal there. That way uh, it's nice and lubed up. So then when you're, when you're putting it back on, I just, I tighten mine down. I just kind of spin it until it touches. And then I try to go about three quarters of a turn after that. Uh, that's just the way I've, I've always done it. Never really had a problem. So here we are just putting the oil back in. Never, never forget to put oil back in. That would be a bad deal. So basically what we did here, since we parked the walker on the uh, slope of the driveway so the oil would drain out better, uh, I I just put a quarter oil in right here and then we'll, we'll close it up, we'll drive it back up onto a flat surface and uh, finish leveling it off. And one thing you guys want to be aware of uh, if you haven't changed oil a lot is read your dipstick your dipstick will tell you whether or not you are supposed to screw it back on all the way or you're just supposed to put it over over the top and not screw it on to check your oil so make sure you do that make sure you read your dipstick dipstick it will tell you which way you're supposed to do it Good to go. All right, what we're going to do here is we're going to grease up the walker. Uh, make sure all the grease fittings, uh, everything that's supposed to have grease in it, make sure it has grease in it. Uh, this is definitely something you guys need to be doing. Something you need to check every uh, every so often to make sure. Make sure your stuff is greased up because it will last a lot longer if it is. Usually, uh, if you guys don't uh, don't have your stuff greased up good, uh, that's when uh, that's when problems start to come up. So here we are doing the uh, oil change on the X mark. So I just got a old garden hose and put it over that valve right there, and. Uh, Put the garden hose over that valve and you open up the valve and the oil will flood out. Uh, pretty simple. I think a, most walk behinds are this way. I've seen some other people do some videos of uh, some other different walk behinds and X mark and it was kind of the same way. So. how to properly put a tube of grease into a grease gun. Uh, he actually does this a lot on his uh, normal job, so uh, I think he's a little bit more qualified than I am to show you. So I'm going to let him explain this to you. Okay. All right, so our grease gun's here. It's locked back the way the little plunger does it. 
Keep us spinning 32. Grab the head off. Take this plastic cap off. It's going to be our bottom end. We're going to take this top piece. All right, guys, so uh, we got everything serviced today. The walker is all serviced up. Uh, we got the X mark all serviced up. Everything is ready to go. i uh, got a couple jobs to do uh, tomorrow, and I think on Wednesday I'll be full go with all my stuff. So uh, we are ready.